Yep, you seen the title in the thumbnail. This Alabama boy is making some Mississippi pot roast. So get in your kitchen. I know y'all ready for it. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started so we can do a quick rundown of what we need to make this delicious Mississippi pot roast. First, you're gonna need a chuck roast, which is the star of the show. Guys, this is about a three pound chuck roast. You wanna make sure you trim it, you know, trim the fat off of it. I trim some of the fat around the sides. Uh, now, if you wanna leave the fat on, you can, uh, but I recommend trimming the fat around the sides. Right here, we have some butter. Right here, we have some pepperoncini. I hope I said that right, guys. If I not, let me know in the comment section below. Y'all know I'm from Alabama. Our education system is bad there, so my pronunciation is also bad. All right, right here we have some dried minced onions. Right here I'm using Hunter's Texas Steak Seasoning to season our chuck roast. Now, if you don't have that, you could just use regular salt and pepper, but I find this to be really great on my meats, especially beef. So you can use your favorite seasoning just for the beef if you want, but if you, like I said, if you don't, just salt and pepper works. Right here we have a package of ranch dressing. Right here we have a package of all Jew gravy mix. I hope I said that right too. Now guys, this is in French. I don't know no French, but I think it's all Jew. If you ask me what it was, I'll say it's called all just because it's how it reads, but you guys know what I'm talking about. We have olive oil. And we have the pepperoncini juice right here. So here's about 10 pepperoncinis, and this is the juice. It's about a third of a cup. So use about a fourth to a third of a cup. So not many ingredients, but you're going to love it. Let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is season the star of the show, which is our pot roast. So we're going to take our steak season or whatever season you have. Like I say, salt and pepper. This has salt and pepper in it. That's why I like it. And we're just going to sprinkle it over there like this. And we're gonna get this bad baby fully seasoned. All right, so this is what we have. I'll leave a link to Hunter's Texas seasoning in the video description. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna bring over our cooktop and we're gonna sear this baby. Now guys, you don't have to sear it if you don't want to, but I really recommend or highly recommend that you sear it before adding it to your crock pot. Gives it so much flavor. So let's go ahead and move over to our cooktop. Now that we're at our cooktop, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil, bring that up to a medium high temperature. And guys, once you see that baby smoking, you wanna take your chuck roast, you're gonna sit that baby in here. And we're gonna cook this about, about two to three minutes per side. All you're looking for is a nice sear, a little hard bottom, and that's about it. So however long that takes you. Again, don't skip this step because that sear adds a lot of additional flavor. All right, guys, so it looks like we have browned our sides. So you want to make sure you, you flip it over on both sides, then do the edges around here. Also, I'm telling you, don't skip this step. You're going to love the flavor that this gives off. It's already a great recipe, but when you do this, it makes it even better. All right, so I'm going to turn off our heat. Now we're going to move over to our crock pot because we got a long time to get this baby cooking, so we need to hurry up and get it in there, all right? So let's head over to the crock pot. All right, so now that we're at our crock pot, we're gonna place our chuck roast here in our crock pot, just like that. Real simple. Next, we're gonna sprinkle our dry minced onions over the top like this, followed by our ranch dressing. This is an important ingredient for the Mississippi chuck roast. All right, you need that ranch. And our all jus gravy mix. Like I said, if you don't have that, you can use brown gravy mix but I recommend this right here. This to me has a little bit more flavor than the brown gravy. Next, you just take your butter and you wanna slice it up in a few pieces, like a stick of butter, and you wanna add that just randomly on the top. Very simple. 
take your pepperoncinis. I hope I said it right again. We'll add them also to the top. And you're going to take the juice of the pepperoncinis and you're just going to put that over the sides of it. Just like that. Next, you're going to take your lid, add it, and we're going to let this baby cook on low for seven to eight hours, or you can cook it on high four to six hours. Four to six hours. Now, guys, I recommend low because low going to get that meat really, really tender, and that's the best setting for this particular recipe. Now, you can do it for four to six hours on high. Still going to taste great, but, man, low seven to eight hours to that baby is fork tender you're gonna love it all right so let's go ahead and get this baby started and i'm gonna see you guys in about seven to eight hours all right so we're about seven hours in we're gonna take a peek well, I've been taking a peek this whole time just to make sure we're good. I think we are right where we need to be. The meat is fork tender. You just want to make sure that meat is fork tender. So let's go ahead and do a test. Look at that. Just come right off like that, guys. So next thing we're going to do is shred our roast right here in our crock pot, all right? All you're going to do to get this shredded is take your two forks, and we're going to start just shredding the meat just like this. Look how easy that the meat is shredding. There you have it, guys. Mississippi pot roast. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. We're going to go ahead and jump into quality control. I got a little bowl right here, and I'm just going to take some of that pot roast along with those pepperoncinis or whatever you want to call it. I ain't trying to pronounce nothing right right now. I'm trying to get my stomach right. Y'all dig me? All right. Let's jump into quality control. Listen, the time has come, and we have our pot roast. Man, listen, when I tell you this baby is tender, it is tender. I'm going to come up closer so you guys see what I got right here. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is not your normal pot roast. This is Mississippi pot roast. Guys, everything that I put in, you must put in it to make that uh, Mississippi pot roll. So until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli, all wings, everything. And remember, I'm not chef, just cook a lot. And now I'm out. Peace.